You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Oh my goodness, I am excited. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. It is I. <laughs> the goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Nope. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For hmm. those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick oh. your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. All right, here we go. Exciting. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid Down. ratty school broom. <laughs> up, left, right. Up. All right. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. All right, this is my first flight lesson. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, let's go. Okay. This'll take some getting used to. Wish I had my own broom. I have Excellent. my griffin, that's what I have. I won't need this, but... Well done. 
Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, uh -oh. shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay. So this do... next set of rings Hold will R2. take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh my goodness, this is so good. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Oh, this is awesome! I love it. <laughs> this is rather fun! This is fun! Oh my goodness. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish just, you could oh have experienced God, crossing the lake as a first year. likes to make an appearance once in a while. I love it. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. I, this is what I've been waiting for. Just the flight in this game. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? I just need my griffin. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We mm -hmm. haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Yes, you blockhead. I like the sound of that. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Oh Bit claustrophobic my for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> this is so fun. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. I love it. This is great. Wow. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. <laughs> that was my favorite part. And where have you two been? Yep. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Oh, boy. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. 
Well, thank you. <laughs> that was epic. I love. I Sorry love about it. that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. <laughs> you seem at home on a broom. We're adventurous. But if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Oh, I wish I could just I could fly. show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I just want my griffin. You have custom rewards available in the challenges menu. Oh, that's good. Uh, where is it? Legendary armored attire. Yeah, that flying in the game was just amazing. I want to do more. Okay. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Okay, uh, Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know. Expelliarmus has the same effect as curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Enemies near a target levitated by the wheels are also levitated. Okay, it's not bad. I don't know where to acquire these items because I don't have them. Unidentified back item, superb. Ooh, let's go. Twenty-seven, eighteen, twenty-seven. Oh, for all those watching, thanks for watching. Um, it's my character right now, so. Let's see. Twenty, seventeen, eighteen. And 20. More armor, the better, I guess. Uh, no. Look like a dork. No, he looks like a bus boy. Cabin boy. Oh, look at me. Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence. Okay. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. 
please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as oh you can. Oh, my goodness. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. You're smacking me with all these uh, quests. Okay, so let's see our quest. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so there's quite a few. Uh, let's not do the story missions. I like to do side quests. Press a sharp assignment. Yeah, I'll do that. Demanding delivery. Okay. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm excited about getting my broom. And the, my bird is too, I guess. Okay, buddy. This place has seen better days. Meet, here I come. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. 
I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. 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 You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Imagine how much Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
enjoy flying. <gasps> a boom! Hey you, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. more like it. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I 
I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I don't know about Central. You're back! Nice to... Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope? Mr. Weeks! I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <sighs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevic had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. My first employment was at Honeydew. <laughs> I was standing behind a door. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day.
Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Eight legs is simply too many. Incendio. Thank you. 
incendio. La violencia. Protego. Stupid Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. That Pippin should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. Revelio. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. But certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Revelio.
Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. right out of the storybook. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately.
Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies.
skin. Incendio. Levioso. Hogsmeade, here I come. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the oh, village. Please. You have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Rebellion! 